What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today I want to talk to you about Bill Cosby and the fact that he's going to prison or he's probably already there now. I'm sure all of you have already heard how yesterday he was just sentenced to a prison term of 3 to 10 years for some pretty horrible things that he did 14 years ago. You know Bill Cosby's legal troubles began over a decade ago where all of these allegations came out about him. He would go through two different trials all of which would lead to what happened yesterday him actually getting sentenced to serve time in prison. And I'm not sure what happened in the other cases with the other allegations. Does he still face other charges or was there not enough evidence in those cases for those to go to trial? I'm really not sure. I know the time that he received yesterday stemmed from one individual case. And with the fact that this story made national headlines and this is something that a lot of people were paying attention to, like all of the trouble surrounding a guy who was once considered America's most favorite father figure. You know, I really wanted to address this situation here just to offer up my opinion on a lot of things in relation to this guy's case, especially what this guy's time in prison is going to be like. I mean, think about this. Bill Cosby, his entire reputation is just down the toilet with all of this trouble that he's been in for just so many years up until this point. And the reason for that being some absolutely horrible charges, some of the worst type of charges that you never want to find yourself with or getting locked up for. I mean, what do you guys think this guy's time in prison is going to be like? I've been seeing all sorts of memes already about this guy getting locked up, and i got to be honest with you, some of these are just absolutely insane. Uh, but I'm going to be telling you guys what I think this guy's time in prison is going to be like, and, you know, this might be something you guys find kind of surprising. Let's start with a couple of facts with this and some things that you guys might not be familiar with. Did you know that Bill Cosby is 81 years old and is also considered legally blind? Now, I'm not sure if that means that he can't see anything at all. I'm quite sure he can still see somewhat. But this is a very old guy with some serious medical situations that are most certainly going to come into play in terms of him actually serving time and where he will be serving that time at. Now, yesterday as Bill Cosby was being sentenced, his lawyer would ask the judge if he would be able to remain out on bail as they were appealing his case. But the judge in his case refused that request and Bill Cosby was then taken from the courtroom to immediately begin serving his time. And right here, you're looking at the mugshot from Bill Cosby as he was being processed in. And I mean, really, this is just a crazy picture to be looking at. You know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, and I mean, you can see it written clear as day on this guy's face. That he probably has no idea what he's in store for, and there's probably just all sorts of other crazy things going through his mind as well. And you know, I don't even want to speculate as to what this guy could be thinking, but this is definitely, again, just a real crazy picture to be seeing. And this thing made it to the internet, I mean, immediately. It was almost like they took this man's booking picture. Hey, Bill Cosby, go ahead and say cheese. Click. Let me put this joint on Instagram, right? I mean, this picture was on the internet immediately. And not only was it this picture on the internet, they were even talking about what this man ate for dinner last night. Talking about meatballs, rice, potatoes, beans, gravy. They had this man's entire first meal locked up right there on Twitter as well. And you know, the first thing that I want to say about this after learning what this man ate for his first meal, meatball, rice, potatoes, beans, gravy, wherever this guy's at, they're feeding them dudes pretty well. That sounds like a damn good meal to be eaten while locked up. You got rice, potatoes, meatballs. I mean, all oh, that sounds good. Uh, but you know, I could almost guarantee you Bill probably weren't eating none of that. He was probably absolutely sick to his damn stomach, no matter how good that meal might be to any other prisoner. To Bill Cosby last night being again that very first meal, he probably weren't trying to eat none of that. Now, along with the sentence that Bill Cosby received yesterday, this three to 10 year sentence, along with this, this guy is going to have to register as an offender for the rest of his life. And I ain't talking about no nonviolent or violent. This guy's going to have to register as an even worse offender. And you guys already know what kind of offender I'm talking about. Um, but aside from that, let's talk about the amount of time that Bill Cosby's going to do. And this is just going to be my own personal prediction and opinion. They sentenced this man to three to ten years. And you know, usually when I talk about these type of high profile cases, I try to give you guys a very pinpoint idea and answer of what I feel is going to happen in that situation. But with this, you know, I kind of feel this could go one of two ways. The first being, maybe this guy only ends up doing three years because of the fact that 
that he's 81 years old because of the fact that he's considered a geriatric prisoner. You know, they've got what's referred to as geriatric parole while serving time. And this means that, you know, they'll release guys because of the fact that they're just too damn old. Maybe they're constantly going to medical or maybe it's because the state feels like it might cost more money to keep these guys locked up than just going ahead and letting them get released where they could possibly just go ahead and pass away out there in the free world. Boom! Released and then you're gone. So, you know, there is the possibility this guy could end up serving something closer to the lower end of his sentence. And, you know, just to clarify, if that is the case, it'll probably end up being a little more than three years because I think it's said that he will not become eligible for parole until after serving three years. So once he's served three years, he can then start going in front of the parole board every single year. But that doesn't mean that they grant him parole because, you know, another way that I feel about this is he could end up just doing the max, the 10 years. Because of the fact that this is such a horrible bad case the charges are just horrible charges and because of the fact that he had all of these other allegations and because of the high profiled celebrity status involved with this you know they might make this dude do that full 10 years and you know i can imagine a lot of you feeling like that even if he serves that full 10 years that's still not being enough time and you know a part of me does agree with that type of thinking but here's something else to consider as well Again, this guy's 81 years old. 10 years? He might not even make it 10 years. I hate to say that about anybody, but you know, that's the, that's the reality of this situation. This, this dude is an old dude. This is an old guy we're talking about right here. A guy who's considered legally blind. 81 years old. There's a possibility this guy dies in prison. And you know, that's just an absolutely crazy thing to think about because, you know, I mean, I grew up watching The Cosby Show. I know exactly what they're talking about when they say that this dude was once considered America's favorite father figure. You know, I mean, to think that this guy went from that to now having to register for the rest of his life and potentially dying in prison because of some horrible things that he did. You know, he absolutely deserves what he's going through right now. He absolutely deserves all of this. But it's just crazy to think about. You go from just this amazing type of a person, or maybe you had like this sinister dark side that nobody ever knew about, to this being your reality right now. Meatballs, rice, potatoes, beans, and gravy on your first night of a three to ten year sentence. But moving on, let's talk about where Cosby is going to end up serving his time at. Now, they said that Tuesday night after he was arrested, he spent his first night in this county jail. I'm guessing that's where that first meal came from. Who's ever serving time there? You're probably eating damn good based upon what I learned about that first meal that was served to Bill Cosby. But from there, he could be moved to this place called SCI Phoenix, which is in suburban Philadelphia, which is a crazy name to think about. Do they got a Phoenix in Philadelphia? I'm not honestly sure. But this is a newer prison that houses almost 4,000 prisoners. They said he could end up going there. Or he could end up going to this place called SCI Laurel Highlands, which I think they said is like 70 miles south of Pittsburgh, still in Pennsylvania. And they say that this SCI Laurel Highlands prison is for lower risk prisoners. So this is obviously some sort of a low-level prison, and it's probably going to be at some sort of a low-level prison where Bill Cosby is serving his time. And if it does end up being this SCI Laurel Highlands prison, this place has housing units for geriatric prisoners, the old guys like Bill Cosby is, and it also has housing units for guys with sensitive type charges, if you you know what I mean right there. I mean, it's crazy. So this dude's probably going to end up serving his time at a low-level, old head, special needs type of an institution where I can imagine when this dude gets there, he's going to have a little to no problems with any other type of prisoners at all. Because one, he's probably not going to be around any type of young bucks or youngins who might want to bring problems to this dude just to get just to get a name for themselves or something. And also, I don't think there's going to be any type of prisoners like that who got any sort of access to this guy. And also something else that I just imagined this guy's time being like, you know, think about this. Getting locked up for horrible charges, you can imagine that that time that you serve is going to be horrible. People are going to find out what you're locked up for and they're going to be taking everything from you. They're going to be beating you up. I mean, your time is going to be hell. Don't do no crazy stuff. Then get locked up and think you're going to have any sort of a sweet ride. It just, I can guarantee you, you ain't going to go through nothing like that. And even though Bill Cosby does have these horrible charges, his reputation is absolutely down in the dumpster. Straight dumpster fire of a reputation. You know, I imagine that this dude's time probably ain't even going to be that bad. And the reason for that is because when this dude gets locked up, surrounded by like-minded type prisoners, either sensitive needs or older prisoners, you know, a part of me feels like this dude probably ain't going to get nothing but respect. 
Because all they're going to see this dude for is who he used to be. America's favorite father figure, Bill Cosby. We locked up with Bill Cosby. If that ain't something to write home about, I don't know what is. You know, I feel like this dude was going to be respected. I feel like even though this guy's reputation is completely destroyed out here in the free world, he's still going to be a celebrity in prison. And you know, again, this is just my opinion. And you might not agree with that. You know, I really want to hear what you guys think about this situation. You know, what do you think about the three to ten years that he received? Do you think that that's enough? Do you think that that ain't enough? You know, I don't know how you give the man more time because three to ten years, in my opinion, sounds like a life sentence already. This guy ain't getting no younger. And also, what do you guys think his time is going to be like? Do you think that they're going to respect this guy in there? I mean, even the guards potentially will be coming up to this dude like, hey, man, could you sign this honey bun right here so I can take this and go put it on eBay? You probably won't even get the asking price of the honey bun. Probably going to make that honey bun not worth two cents. But, you know, I mean, I feel like the guards are probably going to treat this dude with some spec. They're going to put some spec on his name. But you guys let me know what you think about this story. You think I'm right? You think I'm wrong? And if I'm wrong, you know, tell me. And as I wrap this up, I want to wrap this up with one last thing. You know, as all of this was transpiring yesterday, as it was being live streamed on everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, I mean, every social media platform was live streaming the verdict, the sentencing outcome with Bill Cosby. But, you know, as I learned what his sentence was, you know, it brought one thing to mind, at least for me. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how high and mighty, how successful, how celebrity status you ever are in this world, how high or how low that you are. You know, you do some horrible, horrible things. You deserve the very most that can be done to you inside of that courtroom. So, you know, with that, we're thinking that it don't matter who you are, or we're thinking that it is all based upon what you do in this life. Make sure you do the right thing. Don't do no crazy stuff like this. Do not be no Bill Cosby. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some information and some useful stuff from this. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!